I'm Mooch, and this is Pigeonhead Architecture. So Revit comes with a lot of different types of materials, but in my opinion, they're kind of cheesy looking. So I usually try to create my own whenever possible, and I'm going to show you how to do that very quickly. This model that you're seeing here is one of my own personal designs. Every Sunday, I come up with a new design for a new person or a type of person, and I put that in the playlist. So you might want to check that out if you're interested. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to materials, um, and that's under the manage tab, and we're going to create a new material. Make sure you name it something that you're not going to forget because once you're creating a bunch of them, you're, you're going to tend to lose where it's at. So I usually type in, I didn't do it in this case, but I'll usually do like wall dash and then what type of wall it's going to be. You're going to want to click the image box and then your file location is going to open up showing every image you have. So we did this already before, but what you're going to want to do is go on Google and type in the material that you're looking for so in this case concrete and you're going to type in concrete seamless texture and that's going to pop up a bunch of very nice looking uh, materials and make sure wherever you save it it's somewhere that's going to be your final location because if you put it somewhere else like in your desktop and then you delete the material or you decide to move it later on you're going to lose the connection that revit has with that material so then you're going to have to redo this whole process all over again and you don't want to do that once you have the material selected you're going to click on the image you're going to want to play around with the scale basically it's it's the scale is that square that you that you're seeing how big do you want that square to be so we're going to set that to 10 feet see how that looks and you can rotate the material if you want to. We didn't decide to do that today. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that you go back to graphics and you put on where it says render appearance. So now that you have the material done, you're gonna click where you wanna apply it to, in this case, a wall. And a good idea is to duplicate the wall. But since this is just an example that I'm trying to show you, we're not gonna, go, we're not gonna duplicate it. So it's gonna change every wall into this material. And then you're going to click that new material that you created and you're going to hit apply. And as you can see, we don't see anything. And that's because our view is set to hidden. So we're going to switch that to realistic. Now we can see that render and you see how nice that looks, but we want to see exactly what it would look like rendered. So we're going to set up a camera and we're going to do a test render to show you what that would look like. And that's that final rendered image. Now there's a way to make this look even better than it does before. So make sure you check out the next video. I'm going to put the link in the description and I'll put the info card so you guys can easily find that. But if you have any questions at all, make sure to ask down in the comments and I'll try to answer as soon as possible, which is usually pretty quickly. And if not, I'm sure someone in the community will get back to you. And speaking about community, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like if, if this helped you and share it with your friends if they need help too and finally if you guys decide to subscribe i'm going to be doing these type of tutorials where they're quick they're easy and they're going to hopefully teach you something new so if you decide to subscribe i promise you it's going to help out a lot and i'm going to appreciate it so much thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time